hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to load alan wake 2 game on your windows computer so if the game is not loading at all or if it is stuck on loading then please follow the steps shown in this video the first step is to restart your computer simply restart your computer do not ignore this step so restart your computer once and after the system restart try launching the game still you are facing the problem next step is to run the game from the game installation folder for this make a right click on the game uh, i'm sorry click on this three dots go to library and then click on this three dots and then go to manage and then in front of installation here you can see folder icon click on it it will straight away take you to the game installation folder now make a right click on the game exe file and then click on open so try launching the game from here so instead of launching the game from the Epic Games Launcher, you can directly launch the game from the game installation folder. So make a double click or you can make a right click and then click on open. Now still you're facing the problem, then you can make a right click and then click on run as administrator. So try running the game as an administrator. Now still you're facing the problem, then make a right click and then select properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization put a check then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still you are facing the problem then again make a right click select properties again over here put a check on this box over here and then select windows 8 from the list then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work again go to properties and this time select windows 7 and then click on apply click on ok make a double click and launch the game still the game is not launching in that case you can uncheck all the boxes over here if it's not working you can uncheck it and then click on apply click on ok and follow the next step now the next step is to delete the save game files now before you delete the save game files let me inform you that this will result in loss of game progress so you you, you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can delete the save game files now for this open file explorer and then go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder now if you don't see app data over here click on view on the top and then select show and then put a check on hidden items you should be able to see app data now in windows 10 somewhere over here you will find the view option click on view and then somewhere over here you will find the hidden items box Put a check on hidden items and you should be able to see app data folder. Open app data folder. Now open the local folder. Now open remedy folder. Now open Alan Wake 2 folder. You don't have to open this folder. You can simply make a right click and then click on delete. So delete the save game files and after this is deleted, now launch the game and then check. Still you are facing the problem. Allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you have any third party antivirus, just make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, Komodo, Trend Micro, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you are using Windows security, then go to Windows settings. And if you have Windows 11, click on privacy and security. Now click on Windows security. If you have Windows 10, in Windows 10, you will have an option update in security and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down. At the end, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through controlled folder access. Click on yes to allow. Then click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. If the game is installed in C drive, open C drive and check where the game is installed. So open, I think it's under program files. Let me check. Program files. Find the game where the game is installed. Okay. So open the game folder. And then select the game exe file over here. And then click on open. Once the game is added over here, now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now go to system and security now click on windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall 
click on change settings on the top and then click on allow another app now click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder open the game folder so find Alan Wake 2 folder and then select the game exe file now click on open and then click on add once the game is added over here now click on ok on the bottom and then launch the game and then check now still you are facing the problem in that case verify the game files now to verify the game files go to epic games launcher go to library click on these three dots and then click on manage and then over here you can see verify files so click on verify and the verification will take some time so click on verify after the verification launch the game next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website now over here select your product type make sure that you select the right product type over here then select the right series make sure that you select your series over here and then select your graphic card so make sure that you select your graphic card over here now if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on start search now scroll down over here you can see the latest geforce game ready driver is 545.92 this this is the latest one right now so click on get download and then click on download now now once the download is complete run this exe file now once you run this exe file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation so put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete first of all it will uninstall the previous version and then it will install the new version so let the installation complete and once the installation is complete restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to now this is for laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on browse over here and then again go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game next step is to now this is for desktop user make sure your monitors display cable it may be hdmi or display cable or dvi cable so make sure that your display cable is connected to the discrete graphic card so i'll show you if you have dual graphic card one is integrated other is nvidia or amd card so make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this on the back of your tower or maybe in front of the tower you have a slot for discrete graphic card so make sure that you connect the monitor display cable to the discrete graphic card slot in motherboard slot actually you have the integrated graphic card slot so my in this case in this computer this is the integrated the intel one so this is you have the slot of this uh, graphic card on the motherboard so make sure that you connect the display cable to the discrete graphic card instead of motherboard slot and then launch the game next step is to make sure graphic card is enabled in device manager so make a right click on the start menu click on device manager expand display adapter and make sure this is enabled so make you can make a right click in my case this is already enabled if this is not enabled you will see enable device option so make sure your graphic card is enabled over here also in, uh, you can do a installation of nvidia studio driver now for this you can go to uh, nvidia graphic card website you can go to nvidia website and then over here select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 now over here click on start search and then scroll down you will find the studio driver so right now the latest this is game ready game ready game ready and this is studio so you can see studio right now this is the 
version right now available so you can click on click on get download click on download now and then run the exe file once the download is complete and then make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then install the nvidia studio driver and then you can launch the game restart your computer after installing it make sure that you restart your computer after the system restart launch the game now still you're facing the problem in that case you can do a clean installation of your GeForce game ready driver so you can go to the website once again and then install the normal GeForce game ready driver so instead of studio driver if this is not working you can install the normal game ready driver the latest one and then restart your computer and then launch the game now this is important update your windows to the latest version now this is very important so go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed click on restart now make sure that you restart your computer after this after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to unplug all the usb devices which you are not using so if you have these devices connected you can disconnect these devices also if you have any kind of a virtual controller connected you can disconnect it if you have these software running so make sure that you close all the third party software make sure only the epic games launcher and the game is running rest close everything also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game try launching the game on single monitor and then perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services put a check over here first and then click on disable all click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to disable overclocking so do not overclock and close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner or river tuner or any kind of overlay application overclocking application running close it also close all the overlay applications so if you have overlay on in discord turn it off if you have overlay on in geforce experience turn it off so close all the overlay application and then launch the game next step is to close obs so if you have obs running you can close it close all the background application except epic games launcher and the game make sure you close everything including all your browsers especially the chrome and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 
Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to update system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have a Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo. If you have an HP computer, go to HP website. So go to your system manufacturer website, find your model number, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest BIOS update available. Now in case of laptop, before you update the system BIOS, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. And during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. This is important. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. Download x86 and then download x64. So make sure that you download both the files that is x86 and x64 and run both the exe file. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, I have just installed it. So it's telling me to restart my computer. So make sure that you install both the file that is x64 and x86. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, please ignore the error message because I have already installed. It's telling me to restart my computer. So make sure that you restart your computer. Restart is important. So make sure that you restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Now, if you are able to launch the game, you can switch to window mode, turn off DLSS, turn off FSR, turn off ray tracing, and then lower down graphics settings. So if you are able to launch the game, launch the game first. Now, once you launch the game, go to settings. So go to options over here and then go to graphics. Now over here, if this is set to full screen, uh, you can try borderless mode. If that does not work, you can try window mode. So switch to window mode. Also lower down resolution display resolution now if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more now scroll down now over here you can see render resolution now you can set it to quality so if, if this is set to ultra performance you can even select performance balance but you can try quality and then check now you can disable dlss so if DLSS frame generation is on, you can turn this off. You can turn off the DLSS or FSR2. So turn it off, turn off VSync, then scroll down, turn off motion blur. Now over here, if quality preset is set to high, you can set it to medium or you can even go for low quality and then scroll down. Over here, you can see ray tracing. So turn off ray tracing. So if it this if this is set to high, you can even try medium or you can even go for low or you can turn off ray tracing and then check the performance. Now the next step is to update system BIOS, which we have already done. I'm sorry for this. Now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working, you can simply uninstall the game. Now after you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, then restart your computer. After the system restart, reinstall the game to different drive. If you have another SSD, try installing the game to the SSD. Now if your C drive is SSD and if you install the game to external drive like D or E or F, so try installing the game to C drive and make sure that the C drive is SSD. So try installing the game to C SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you
to get the game running on Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.